Bird Ecology and Conservation Ontario, BICO for short, is a small non-profit and charitable organization that uses ecological research to further the conservation of birds in Ontario. One of our main projects this summer involves working with barn swallows to learn more about how to provide new nesting habitat for this species at risk. In April, wooden shed-like structures were constructed on several properties in southern Ontario to provide new nesting habitat for barn swallows. At each of these properties, the structure the birds had previously nested in was no longer available. In some cases, old barns where the swallows nested had been demolished due to safety concerns. In other cases, renovation of this old structure meant the birds could no longer access the nesting area they'd used the previous year. Barn swallows are still a familiar sight in rural southern Ontario, but their numbers in Ontario, and indeed across Canada, are dropping at an alarming rate. We don't know why the barn swallow population is declining. Loss of nesting habitat is one of many factors that could be impacting the population. So finding out how best to replace lost nesting habitat is an important step for conservation. We attached wooden nest cups to the structures to encourage the birds to nest. Barn swallows will often reuse old nests from previous years and the wooden nest cups provide a substitute for old barn swallow nests, which allow the birds to get a head start on nesting because they don't have to build a nest from scratch. It isn't easy to get barn swallows to nest in new nesting structures that are built for them. Many structures have been built and are unused by the birds. Our research focuses on testing social cues to see if they can be used to attract barn swallows to new structures. We created structures that have the appearance of already being occupied by barn swallows, hoping this would entice the birds to nest in them. To do this, we attached barn swallow decoys and broadcasted barn swallow songs and calls from the structures. In late April and early May, soon after barn swallows returned to Ontario from their wintering grounds, the birds began visiting the new structures. Some of them interacted with the decoys. They perched next to them, sang to them, and even tried to mate with them. Next, some barn swallows began building their nests by adding mud and feathers to the wooden nest cups. We're monitoring the nesting structures to collect data about the bird's behavior and the response to the social cues. We're also tracking all of the nests to see how many succeed in fledging young. Towards the end of the summer, we'll watch to see if the social cues attract birds who may be scouting for nesting sites for next year before they head south for the winter. At the end of our project, we expect to have new information about how to provide nesting habitat for barn swallows that can be used to improve conservation efforts for this species at risk. Please donate to support Pico's research on barn swallows and other songbirds in Ontario. Every little bit helps. Thank you for supporting songbird conservation.